Good day everyone. Today, we will be discussing about graph of second and cosecant function. Please take note of this table because the pattern in this table will be very essential in order for us to graph the given cosecant function. While for second function, we will be using this pattern. Now let us have the given example y is equal to 3 cos second quantity x minus pi over 2. The first thing that we need to do, take a look if this given function is in its standard form. It is in standard form if it is written in y equals a cos second b quantity x minus c plus b. As you can see, it is written in its standard form. Therefore, we can now identify the values of a, b, c, and d. For a, so a is equal to 3, this one. For b, b is this one. As you can see, there is no number here. There is an invisible numer number here, and that is 1. For c, that this is the value of c, this one. So therefore, c is equal to negative pi over 2. This is the constant term. So as you can see, there is no constant term in the given function. Therefore, d is equal to 0. Now, after identifying the values of A, B, C, and D, we can now identify amplitude, period, phase shift, and the vertical shift. Let us now substitute. For amplitude, A is equal to the absolute value of A. Since A is 3, therefore, we have absolute value of 3, which is equal to 3. For period, we have P is equal to 2 pi over B. Since B is equal to 1, we're going to substitute 1. Simplifying 2 pi divided by 1, that's 2 pi. For phase shift, we're going to bring down negative and then substitute the value of C. The value of C is negative pi over 2. Negative times negative pi over 2 is equal to positive pi over 2. Since it is positive, it implies that the, there will be movement of graph pi over 2 units to the right. Now, for vertical shift, since d is equal to 0, it implies that vertical shift is none, or there is no movement upward of, or downward of the graph, given graph. For domain, we will just simply substitute the value of p and the value of the phase shift. So, we're going to substitute x is an element of set of real numbers, such that x is not equal to p. So, instead of writing p, we're going to write 2 pi over 2k, Plus, since our phase shape is positive, we're going to use plus pi over 2, where k is an element of integers. As you can see, we can simplify 2 pi divided by 2. It can be cancelled. Therefore, it, can, it will be x is an element of real numbers that x is not equal to pi k plus pi over 2, where k is an element of integers. So that will be our domain. For range, we will be substituting the value of the amplitude and the value of d. So it will be negative infinity, negative, our a is 3, so it will be negative 3 plus 0, union, 3 plus 0, positive infinity. Simplifying this one, it will be negative infinity, negative 3, union, 3, positive infinity. So therefore, our range is this one. After this, we're going to proceed with completing the values in the table. So we will be substituting the value of P and PS for X. So we have 0 plus our phase shift is pi over 2. So 0 plus pi over 2, that's positive pi over 2. For P, we have 2 pi. So we have 2 pi over 4 plus pi over 2. So, it can be simplified. 2 over 4 can be pi over 2. So, pi over 2 plus pi over 2, that's equal to pi or 2 pi over 2. Now, for this one, we have 2 pi over 2 plus pi over 2. So, since we have the same denominator, we can simplify this one. So, copy the denominator 2. 2 pi plus pi is equal to 3 pi. So, we have 3 pi over 2. As you can see, we can able to we can see a pattern here. 
pi over 2, pi 3 pi over 2. As you can see, we just simply add pi over 2 to get the next term. So 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 2, that's equal to 2 pi. 2 pi plus pi over 2, that's equal to pi pi over 2. So instead of substituting the value of p and ps, better to find or take a look first if you can see a pattern. Next, we're going to proceed with the value of y. For the first one, we have undefined. For this one, we're going to substitute positive a. Why we use positive? Because the value of a is positive. If the value of a is negative, we will be starting from negative, then it will be followed by positive. So since it is positive, we're going to have positive a. As you can see, our a is equal to 3. So we have 3 plus 0, which is equal to 3. For this one, we have negative positive. Since we start from positive, the next will be negative. So we have negative 3 plus 0, which is equal to negative 3. So we already have the values of x and value of y. Now we're going to write. So it will be pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, and pi pi over 2. Now, for the y values, we have 3 and negative 3. So, therefore, we will be having 0 here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Now, let's plot the given points or let's draw. For pi over 2, that's undefined. So, we're going to draw asymptotes. If it is undefined, we're going to draw asymptotes. For pi, that's equal to 3. So let's now plot the point pi and 3. For 3 pi over 2, that's undefined. So let's draw again asymptotes. For 2 pi, that's negative 3. So let's draw, plot the point 2 pi and then 3. For pi pi over 2, that's undefined. So therefore, we're going to draw again asymptotes. Now, after that, we're going to draw the graph. So as you can see, since there, will, there are asymptotes, it implies that the graph should not cross the asymptotes. So, you're going to draw this one. And then for this one, we're going to draw like this. So this is now the graph of the given function y equals 3 cosecant quantity x minus pi over 2. Let's try an, another example y is equal to 4 second pi x minus 2. Again, the first thing that we need to do, let's check if this given function is it in its standard form. So it should be y is equal to a second b quantity x minus c plus b. Let's check. As you can see, this is in its standard form. So we can now identify the values of a, b, c, and b. For a, this is the value of a. So we have a is equal to 4. For b, this is the value of b. That's pi. Why? Because there is no parenthesis. So that, therefore, the numerical coefficient of x is pi. So therefore, b is equal to pi. For c, as you can see, there is no parenthesis. So it, impl it implies that there is no c. For d, that's the constant term, and as you can see, d is equal to negative 2. After identifying the values of a, b, c, and d, we're now going to proceed with the amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift. For amplitude, we have a is equal to the absolute value of a, which is 4, and the absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. For period, we have p is equal to 2 pi over, instead of writing d, we will be writing pi. So that's for sub, just like substitution. So 2 pi divided by pi is 2, so we can cancel pi. For phase shift, since c is equal to 0, therefore phase shift is none, or there is no movement of graph, right or left. For vertical shift, so that's negative 2. So it implies since this is negative, there will be a movement of graph, 2 units, downward. For domain, we will be just simply substituting the values of P and PS. 
So it will be d is equal to x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to 2k plus 1 and your p is 2 all over 4. Since there is no phase shift, no need to substitute ps where k is an element of z. Since we can simplify 2 over 4, it can be 1 over 2. So, therefore, d is equal to, or the domain is x an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to 2k plus 1 all over 2, where k is an element of z, or element of integers. For the range, we will just simply substitute in the given values a and d. So, it will be negative infinity, negative, your a is 4, so negative 4, plus your d is negative 2. Union, ne 4 plus negative 2, positive infinity. So, simplifying that, it will be negative infinity, negative 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 6. Union, 4 plus negative 2 is 2, and then positive infinity. Now, after this, we will be proceeding on the given table. We will be substituting the value of PS and P. Since we don't have PS, we will just simply use only this one, 0, P over 4, P over 2, 3P over 4, and P, because we don't have PS. So, let's write 0. For P over 4, our P is 2. So, 2 over 4 is equal to 1 half. Our p is equal to 2, so we have 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. As you can see, we, there is what they call pattern. We add 1 half to get the next term or to find the next term. So, 0 plus 1 half is 1 half. 1 half plus 1 half is 1. And 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. And 3 halves plus 1 half is equal to 2. Now, after finding the values of x, we will now find the values of y. So, we're going to start with positive a since the value of a is, or the sign of a is positive. So, our sign, our a is equal to 4. So, we have 4 plus our d is negative 2. 4 plus negative 2 is 2. And then, we're going to proceed since we use positive here, the next will be negative. So, we have negative 4 plus negative 2 which is equal to negative 6. Again, positive again, it will be 4 plus negative 2, which is equal to positive 2. After identifying the values of a, of x and y, we will now graph the given function. Let's write the values for x. So we have 0, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, and then 2. After that, we will now have the values for y, and that's 2 and negative 6. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, here is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Let us now plot the points. For 0, we have positive 2, so let's now plot the point. For 1 half, that's undefined, so it implies we're going to draw asymptotes. For 1, we have negative 6, so let's plot the point 1, negative 6. For 3 halves, we have undefined, so let's draw asymptote. For positive 2, we have 2. So let's now plot the points. After that, let's draw the graph. So since there are asymptotes, it implies that the graph should not cross the asymptote. So therefore, it will be this one and this one. For this one, we have this, and for this, we have this one. Okay, so this is now the graph of the given trigonometric function y is equal to 4 second pi x minus 2. That's all. Thank you and happy math learning.